So this could be the best possible way to set up dual displays on your M1, M2, and even M3 MacBook Air. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, and what am I gonna show you today? What I think I have here is a really good device for setting up dual displays on obviously these little bit M1, M2, and even an M3 MacBook Air, which I'm gonna talk about in a second there. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the device, but I'm also gonna do a tutorial at the end here. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up the software and how everything works and how easy it is. And I think I can get this done when I show it to you in less than five minutes. So if you're looking for dual displays and you're not that technical maybe, but you wanna do it quickly within five minutes, this is the device for you and it's inexpensive and it works great. So sit back and relax, we're gonna get into it. Let's go. All right, quick brief history before I get into it. So obviously in the M1 or M2 MacBook Airs, this is an M2 MacBook Air right here, you can only get one external display. On the M3 MacBook Airs, they kind of fix that, kind of, but you have to have, leave your, your device in clamshell mode. So with this device sitting right here, you can actually have that open and actually have that as a third screen. And you can go ahead and do mirrors, or you can do extended mode as well, having all different screen, you know, all different things on all three screens. And that's the beauty of a product like this. All right, so what do I have here? So what I have is I have the Wavelink Universal Dual Display Adapter, and this runs the DisplayLink software, and you've probably heard of that before. So what, what's the difference here? Full disclosure before I even get into the video, right? Wavelink reached out to me and they're like, we want you to do maybe a video and just show people how to use the device, maybe a tutorial or something like that. And I'm like, I've done these devices before, so let me take a look at it. Well, I'll tell you one thing. This is actually pretty cool because it's a very inexpensive way to do it, and it's really easy. It's one of the easiest ones I've used before. They're all fairly easy, but at the end of the day, the reason I wanted to make this video is maybe to help people. So watch the tutorial, see how easy this is. But full disclosure, but I still love the product, all right? I want to show you what it is, and I'll show you the cost here right now. So here it is on Amazon right here. It's $67.15, and that's a great price. And I've even seen it go lower than this. Definitely check their website and everything. So $67.15, what gives? Why is it less expensive? Well, take a look. Wavelink's got some other higher end ones over here, 199 bucks. You can see it right here. But if you look in here, take a look at this. There's all these other ports that you may or may not need. Of course, you may need them. You can get a more expensive one. But what I recommend doing is if all you're trying to do is just do the dual displays, this is perfect for you. It's got full metal construction, all right? It's got a dongle on the end of it. One goes into, it's got a USB. USB-C connector or a USB-A depending on what you want there. But I say obviously use the USB-C in the Mac. Fits this book or my MacBook over here. And the front of it, it has two different zones, only four ports. It's got display port HDMI, display port HDMI. So in each zone, there's one of each of those plugs, and you can only plug in the you know one cord into each zone. So you can only have two monitors. So you can only either go HDMI and HDMI or display port and display port. Or you can go HDMI and display port, but they have to be in different zones if that makes any sense. So you plug them in, and it's just that simple. And but there's also some software which we'll get into also with the display port. The tutorial is coming up, so stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna give you a little bit more information on the device. So here's the compatibility of it. It's, you can see it works with Windows Fine, Mac OS here, Chrome, Android, Harmony OS, Ubuntu. Here's the things that does not work, iPad OS, Linux, and Unix. So just definitely check this out. Um, also down in here, there's another, I'll, I'll get into this in a second, but there's a little thing you can play in here to show you how to get it all set up as well. If you want kind of a, you know, listen to me, but you can also go in here and see it just as well. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put up the, the resolutions that it can do here. Now it can do multiple 4K at 60 hertz, but there's some other ones in here like 5120 times 1440 at 60 hertz. So I'll put this up right now as I'm talking about it. You can pause the screen if you wanna take a look at all this, but this is what they're telling me on the website. I just tried it at you know two 4K and then I even did two 1080p and stuff like that. Obviously that works perfectly fine, And uh, but you take a look at that and make sure it is what you need. Oh yeah, one more quick piece of information before the tutorial is it does not need to be externally powered either. So this just plugs into your computer and you don't need external power or power supply, which is super nice. So again, I recommend this because once you watch what I'm gonna show you in a second, you can have this set up within five minutes working perfectly and it fixes the you know the super big problem of only having one external display with a computer like this, this M2 MacBook Air. And again, even on the M3 MacBook Airs, you can take it out of clamshell mode because that's a limitation with that as well. So you can have three kind of beautiful screens in you all showing different things and that's what this is all about and I think for under 70 bucks this thing's a steal all right so I'm going to show you how easy this is but a quick tip here if you I'm, I'm going to show you myself but if you want to go to the Amazon page I'll have a link to this you basically scroll all the way down here right to this area here there's a little play button if you click on the play button I don't know if you could hear that, but basically it's gonna show you exactly exactly what I'm doing in another video. So here's a second example of exactly what I'm gonna do here. But I'll show you myself here. So what you wanna do is, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to Display Link Software. And this is how we get this installed, load all the software. So you go to displaylink.com, you can see it right there. 
going to click enter. It's going to instantly kind of just transfer you over to a web page called S Y N A P T I C S. This is where you get the display link graphics. You can see it here. All you got to do is you scroll down, not too far, and look for your OS here. I'm going to be, I'm a Mac channel here, so I'm going to do the Mac OS right here. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And uh, as soon as we click on that, it's going to bring us to where all the, uh, you know, it's basically going to be the drivers. Now, Display Link Manager, this is the one you want right here. Most cases, it's going to give you the versions it works with. There's legacy releases down here. You definitely want to get the newest version if you can. So definitely, you know, download this one if you have any of these uh, Mac OS versions here. So you want to go ahead and just click Download just like that and then click Accept on the user agreement. Really easy. It's going to go ahead and start loading the program. So we can go ahead and just minimize this window now. And uh, next thing we want to do is go down here, and we're going to go basically into Finder and then Downloads. And here's this, here's the actual thing I just downloaded. It's right here, Display Link Manager Graphics. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. It's going to open up this installer here. So we're all moving in the right steps here. Next thing is Continue here. Go ahead and read through all the licensing and everything. If you like it, click Continue. And it's going to say, to continue installing the software, you must agree to the terms of the software agreement. I'm going to agree to them. And uh, it says Installation Type. It tells you how much space it's going to take, and I'm going to click Install. So there it goes. So I'm going to kind of just go away from here for now, type in my password, and come right back. But you have to type in your password. All right, once that's done, you can see that it continues to load. It says the installation was successful. Now I'm going to go ahead and click right here, Close, right like that. Now over here it's going to say, do you want to move the Display Link Manager, basically the installer file, to the trash? I'm going to click Yes, click like that. So what happens basically, there's a couple steps in here that you need to do. So, and I think I already did this before, So, but you want to go up to your Apple icon up here. And if it doesn't ask you to do this, you want to go to System Settings. And then you want to go down to Privacy and Security right here. See that there? And then once you're in here, let's just see, you want to go down to, if I can find it in here, I think it's called screen recording right here. So you want to click on that. See, I actually have it already selected because I had this installed before. But what's going to happen is you're going to have something like that. I'm going to cancel that, but you're going to have it off. You want to make sure that Display Link Manager is clicked on right here. It's going to say screen recording. It's just the way the Mac works. It's, it's safe to do that. So you need to actually make sure that that's on for this all to work, all right? So you can go ahead and click off of that, click off of this. Over here it says notifications may include alerts. You know, if you want to, you can go ahead and let them notifications come through as well up here. This may, this window might come up and you can allow notifications. So once you're all done with everything, you're going to notice an icon up here. If you click on it, you're going to get a window just like this, and that means everything is really set up. You can also go in here and, you know, launch automatically. You, you can enable different modes and stuff. So you can go ahead and read through that. Also, it's giving me an error message or some kind of a message because I don't have the actual device connected right now. But if you get this screen, you can kind of read through all this stuff. Long story short, though, this is all ready to go, and I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, now I'm kind of set up in a weird spot here because my desk is not big enough to show you. But long story short, I have the Wavelink device sitting right over here. You can see it. And I have two HDMI plugs, and they're both in the different zones on that device. And they're going, one's going into this monitor, one's going into this monitor over here. As you can see, these are showing two different, completely different things. And on top of it, my computer down here, I don't know if you can see this, but that's actually showing a third thing. So it's actually open. So my main MacBook, this is an M2 MacBook Air, usually not capable of having all these displays. But I can actually see a main screen here, and then I have two separate content screens over here with this Wavelink device. So I totally recommend it. It's called the Wavelink Universal Dual Display Adapter. Again, I have links to it in the video description. There's videos on there to show you how to use it. It's, it's really inexpensive, and it takes literally five minutes to get set up. So if you're really worried about it, go through my example, go onto Amazon's page that I showed you, and actually look at that example, and you're all set. I mean, it, it literally takes five minutes to get this all set up. Anyways, I'll wrap up the video because I think you guys have seen enough. It's so easy to set up. It takes, like I said, five minutes to do. Uh, there's no problems, even if you're not technical. Check it out. I'll have a link in the description. And again, this is kind of what I would call, I agreed to do this video and just show people how easy it is with Wavelink here. Um, these devices all use Display Link software, and they're you know all fairly good. But this one has been probably the easiest setup for me, and it's one of the cheapest I've seen out there. So check it out. Do your own research, like I always say, but check, you know, check everything out before you buy it. I just wanted to show you how easy this was, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.